you're going to need today very first and most importantly rice this is what's going to go inside the hand warmer and warm up in the microwave um, the outside of the hand warmer is going to be made out of a thicker fabric fabric so I've got some felt here I'm not going to be using that today but that is one option I've got some like canvasy material that's quite thick as you can see and it's a teal colour I'm not sure how well that's coming through on the uh, lovely camera because I'm filming on a very very grim day so I've got doing the best I can with the lights this is some um, like double sided material to keep it just that little bit warmer um, I don't actually know what material this is but I found it in a scrap bin because that's where I get a lot of my materials uh, scrap bins I got this one from a scrap bin for three quid this is just some fluff material um, it's very nice and soft uh, and then the last material you're going to need and this is going to make the inside of your hand warmer this is muslin uh, you can pick this up from like almost any fabric shop uh, it can be quite expensive but you don't need much of it you can get something called a fat core or a quarter of it and that tends to be like maybe a quid or two at the most and with a fat quart you can make about five or six of these hand warmers um, but this is I chose muslin because it's not flammable I tested this I cut off a square of, the co of like one of the corners and shoved it in my microwave for a good two minutes um, just to test whether or not it would set on fire um, so you need that you also need a pair of scissors some form of ribbon for the outside uh, a pencil needles to help you sew and some uh, thread preferably the thread that matches the same colour as like your material uh, but you don't have to it can be decorative it's up to you Slim. and I want to make a small one so I'm going to use a uh, sticky note pad and I'm going to draw around it twice like so in pencil and leaving a good gap again do and then I want to snip these out so I'm just gonna quickly like just keep you well away from these edges. Snip those two out and chuck the muslin to one side. And I'm going to chop these apart. So I want this and this back to back. Like that. And now I'm just going to pin in a couple of places. Um, I'm now going to sew all the way around my edge, leaving a good gap be able to fit a spoon so I can uh, fill it up from the inside uh, fill up the inside of this with rice so okay so after quickly sewing around this and leaving quite a sizable gap I'm going to leave the fingers length and just cut around it going to flip it inside well the right way around now because you sew it inside and I want to take my rice with a spoon which I forgot to mention you'll need at the beginning you have to just start spooning rice in so Kind of almost all full. If you wanted to add some incense or something to make it smell nice, you could. Um, you could also add some like flower, like dried up flowers on the inside. That would also help it smell good too. And now you just want to take a thread and needle and just sew up the top. Okay, so I've got my small little thing now all sewn up at the top. 
Um, I've already cut out a small square for this. Um, we'll be losing a lot of this in a minute, but pop that to one side because we now want a slightly longer square. So I can use this a bit again. And a longer square, I'm going to go about there, because I want to fold it over so it's a pouch. So ideally, actually, I want to make it a little bit snugger than that. I'm going to do that and say that's where I want the flap. And then have the flap be about that long because it might a bit about half as long as that. So cool. And now I just want to chop along that line. sides together like this and I've just realised I also need to cut off a bit off the top uh, actually no don't worry we'll fold that bit over because then we'll have a nice edge on the inside Ooh. Um, and then we'll have we'll do something to give the top a nice edge as well so clear all this away do -do. I'm going to sew along this line, this line, this line, because we don't need to leave an opening because we can fold it through there. <sighs> so. So it's that simple, guys, of how to make one of these. Like You can make one of these by hand, like I did with this one. I filmed this one first, but none of the footage was there when I went to get it, so I had to refilm it. And I'm going to admit now, I cheated. I used a sewing machine on this one, but this one I did completely by hand, sewn all by hand. Um, but yeah, to be able to use it, you put this little baggie that's full of rice without this in the microwave for two minutes until it's nice and warm. And then you just simply, get this the right way, pop it in your pouch, nice and snugly. Fold your pouch down like that. <laughs> she says struggling. Um, like that, so it's nice and folded. And you've got hand warmer. And it will stay warm for a long time. Um, it's been a really drool and horrible day here. Which is what gave me the idea to make one of these. You don't just have to use fluffy things either. You can use all different sorts of um materials for the outside i'd suggest something sort of like slightly thicker i mean if you wanted to you could even crochet or knit yourself a little pouch um that'd probably be even easier because you could have a long pouch and then just yeah anyway um did you guess right from my teaser that i teased on facebook and on instagram if you don't follow me um the links are down below um I am the little girl cow on Instagram and I am just the girl cow on uh, Facebook. Um, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and let me know what you want to see me making in the future. I've got a couple of projects planned for the Halloween period, including, like I teased earlier in this video, a Halloween wreath. I'm currently in the process of making it because it doesn't take that long. It's just recording and doing it. Um, especially when you recording equipment decides it doesn't want to like you and does whatever it wants to do. So you're like, well, thank you. Um, so yeah, until, until next time, guys. Bye for now.